You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Well, welcome. I welcome to coming down to Brantford today. Uh, we're here to announce that in 2019, Brantford will be celebrating its 375th birthday, um, and it will be a year-long celebration. For the last several months, uh, myself, with, along with this com committee made up of uh, town staff and uh, recreation, Parks and Recreation Department staff and staff from the Selectman's Office have been organizing um, the celebration. Uh, the first major kickoff will be January 4th, Friday, January 4th, right here on the Town Green starting at 6 p.m. It's going to be a celebration uh, where we'll have a, the Brantford Zone, the Spectacles, the Sin Sisters will be here performing. We'll have a ice sculpture here uh, doing a, a ice sculpture commemorating the 375th, a bonfire, s'mores, and some other activities. So we invite the whole entire community to come out and celebrate. Uh, as Like I said, it's gonna be a year long celebration. Uh, we're gonna be reaching out to other organizations. We know some other, other organizations have already started the planning process for events throughout the year. We're gonna be coordinating with a lot of events that already occur during our year. As we know, Brantford is a community that has a lot of activities activities uh, throughout the year that not only take place right here on the town green but throughout town and it'll all be under the uh, uh, the branding of uh, the celebration of Brantford's 375th. Um, in January 15th at the Brantford Fire Headquarters at 6 p.m. we invite other uh, interested parties, organizations, individuals who want to either uh, be part of an event, uh, coordinate their own event to come down and meet um, and discuss uh, the events that they would like to ha see happen in town and, and be part of the celebration. We also have a website, Brantford 375.com, um, and you can also contact the committee through uh, the email, three, Brantford375 at gmail.com. Uh, with that, if there's any uh, questions, I'll take any questions. Are the events free or is there a charge? Um, we, we anticipate the majority of events will, like I said, will be uh, uh, events that already occur. Many of them are free and open to the public. And uh, however, um, depending on which uh, organizations uh, coordinate an event, there may be a small fee or, or donation are required. Also part of this uh, celebration, we are uh, planning a beautification project at Tyler's Green, which is uh, just west of the Blackstone Library, that green section. And uh, so Tyler's Green. So it is a, uh, it's on Main Street. It's just west of the Blackstone Library. Um, and we really uh, are now just beginning the design and we'll be unveiling that. And that'll give an opportunity to uh, have the uh, community involved in that through donations and, and to see the project through. Can, can you just tell us who's involved in the committee, the people are standing with you? Yeah, so it's currently made up of the Recreation Department. Today I have joined with the Alex Paluzzi, Dale Izzo, and uh, <clears throat> Paul Criscolo, Chairman of the Recreation Board, Colin Sheehan, and Victor Amatori. Um, and also from the Selectman's Office is Trista Malisi and uh, Terry Elton. <clears throat> and I understand you've got like the, the Garden Club working with you, there's a bunch of different other organizations that are just going to get involved as the year unfolds. Certainly, we've already, like I said, been contacted by some other organizations that want to uh, participate in some way, either have their own event or be part of a, a, an event that's being planned. Um, and we are certainly welcoming other events, to, you know, organizations to come forward. Uh, Brantford First Congregational is their 375th as well, so we'll certainly be uh, coordinating events uh, with the First Congregational Church here in Brantford, which is located right behind us. So it all kicks off with first night? It's first night, yes, yeah, so it's January 4th, uh, kicked off at 6 p.m. It's be about an hour and a half event. Um, like I said, 
Uh, we invite everyone to come down. Uh, uh, there will be a bonfire, so if it's a uh, cold, you know, you can get near the bonfire, stay warm, uh, but then also, you know, go to the shops and the restaurants that are here as well. Um, so we do plan uh, coordinating, like I said, with the Brantford Historical Society and some other groups uh, to really, we're, we're going to focus uh, not solely on the history of Brantford, but also what makes Brantford great. So in February, it's gonna, what, um, what do you love about Brantford? And we're going to ask people to, uh, through our website, contribute what they love about Brantford. And uh, we will be putting together a commemorative book at the end of the year. And we'll hope to incorporate uh, what we hear from the people. And, and the love that Pete talked a little bit, or Cindy talked a little bit about that, that's being introduced today? Certainly. Colin, you want to speak sure. a little bit about it? <laughs> So Shannon Beth of SB Creative designed our logo. We have the historic churches and of course the town hall, uh, some fireworks because it is an amazing celebration. And we're gonna be using this on all of our merchandise. Brantford375.com went live today. You could purchase your merchandise there, pick it up at Campus Customs in Brantford, and we'll be selling merchandise at all of our events throughout the year. Shannon Beth okay. Harrington, I believe her last name, SB Creative. And that's the number eight, so sbcreative.com. She loves Bramford and created the hashtag Bramford Love on Instagram, so we have a lot of content through that as well. All right. All right. Any more questions? If not, thank you. This program was brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings and other videos on demand at brantfordtv.org.